welcome. <laughs> Namaste. Welcome to uh, Brooklyn Talks, episode number two. And today we'll be talking about um, the runway. Yes, we'll be talking about the runway. Not the fashion runway, but the runway of time. And um, just uh, always, always, always keeping it positive is very important. Always keeping it positive. So the thing about um, people is that people have aspirations. They always want to better themselves. It's in our nature to, to want more and better things. So aspirations are very important. And But with aspirations come like doubt and fear. They kind of like come hand in hand. Well, I want to learn to do this, but uh, I can't do it because of this. So my buddy Jamie's a super smart dude, and he dropped this little bit of knowledge I thought it was awesome about like the runway of life. And if you realize and can always focus on that you're at the beginning, no matter what your age is, you're always at the beginning of whatever it is that you want to do. So if you want to learn how to be a carpenter um, and you're like 50, you're not old. Age is nothing but a number in perception. And so if you can realize you're at the beginning, then you have all this runway time to learn. It's all in front of you, all that. If you think that you're at the end, I'm too old, I can't learn this, or I'm too old, I should have known it by now. If you put that on yourself that you're already at the end, then you are. And, and, you won't, and you won't be able to learn or achieve new things. So just keep that little bit of perspective that you're always at the beginning. You know, it's always the beginning. Even if you're 79 years old and, and you know, you're always at the beginning of the runway of whatever time you have left. So you can apply that perspective to anything you want to do. And it doesn't matter if it's videos or music or art or fixing cars or whatever that you want to do. Just come into the perspective of the beginning. You're new, it's fresh, and you have all this time ahead of you to do it. That's that. And the other thing is, like, if you think, if you put, you always got to uh, focus on the words that you choose. Oh, I can't do this yet. It's, it, it switches it to positive, um, you know. So you, you always choose your words uh, that you put out to the universe because the universe is always listening. Everything's always vibrating. So just to have that perspective of choose your words because you create that. When you spell things down, you're actually casting a spell. So it's good to write lists for yourself. I want to accomplish one, two, three, four, five. And you and you will. When you when you write things down, you cast a spell. And and, and you're you're all magici- magicians. You're all awesome like sorcerers. You know what I'm saying? Like the greatest people are the people that say that they could do it and then they do it. If you say you can't do it, then you can't. And that's just classic Star Wars. There is no try, there's, you know, whatever he said, what did he say? There's no try, there's, there's only, only do. do. There's only do, man, that's it. Um, so just keep that also in perspective, you know, don't don't uh, block yourself in a box with your words and, and, and those type of things. Keep your things open, keep the runway in front of you, you can achieve all things, um, stay positive and choose positive words and then you will see that you're surrounding yourself with positive people. If you're around negative people, um, It's not that they don't want to be loved, they do. And it's not that they don't want to love you, they do. It's just vibes, man. So the best way to get out of negativity is to be positive. If you think that you're going to lose the race, then you are. Then you will lose the race. And if you think that you're going to win the race, now you're talking, man, you're going to win it. You know, so you got to believe. Believe in yourself and you can achieve in yourself. Brooklyn Talks, episode two. Your boy Doobie Duke Sims. Peace. Keep on rocking in the free world.